Hey guys, my coach Mikhail here from Aces Jiu Jitsu Club with my brother Adam. And today we're going to be showing you an awesome flower sweep technique. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal technique and it leads into so many other options for back take. But today we're just going to talk about the flower sweep portion. Okay guys, so before I show the sweep, the first thing I want to talk about is a couple of very common mistakes that a lot of people make when they're working on this sweep. Mistake number one. Okay, so the issue is a lot of people when they're right here, they don't securely get the arm across. And what I mean by that is easy for my partner Adam to be able to just pull his arm out. Oh man, that's really rough. So one way I make sure to overcome that is as I'm pulling him, my body moves is moving to the left of him. Boom, and I sit up. As I sit up, I make sure I securely get his lat, and I bring my knees into my body a little bit so that I make sure it's secure, right? When it's here, man, it's really hard for him to get his arm out now. Okay, issue number two that a lot of people have when they get here is not getting perpendicular enough on their opponent once they get underneath. Okay, so in this situation, oh, I bring him to the opposite side. A lot of guys are having a hard time. Ugh! Ow, how come I can't get the arm? What's going on? Right? When, when in actuality, boom, it's much better to become really perpendicular to his body. Now he doesn't have an arm posting there, and I'm really able to get a lot of leverage on my hamstring to complete this technique. Okay, guys, let's talk about the procedure for this technique to make it work. Okay, first thing, I need to make sure that I eliminate his post that's gonna be on the left side of my body. All right, it's extremely important. Now, in order to do that, it doesn't matter to me, guys. You can use two hands to get it. I sometimes, depending on the guy, I'll use one hand and a hand on his elbow. Sometimes, I'll just bring it across and I bring my hip across, okay? No matter which way I do it, I like to bring my hips up. And that's how I'm able to unstick him as I'm bringing my hips back down. Now he's got nothing to hold on to. And I'm able to reach across and get his lap. Okay? Super, super important that I control this portion. This is the opener to a very, very, very big game. Okay? So now that I'm here, I need to get this arm. Hello. Right here, underneath his leg, and get my body perpendicular to him. One of the big common mistakes people make in order to get this happen is their body is so flat on the ground. You gotta think about like a spinning top. Like very little surface area is on the ground of that big, big spinning top, so it's able to move around, okay? So now that I'm here, my arm is gonna go underneath his leg. Boom. And by the way, sometimes, notice, underneath the ground, notice, wide base. Notice, sometimes, to help me, this leg outside will push and help me pivot, all right? So now that I'm here, I'm elbow deep underneath his leg. Now I'm gonna use my hamstring on the leg that's controlling his body, and I'm gonna give him a nice little nudge, but I'm not gonna nudge him straight over. I'm gonna nudge him over this shoulder, going at a diagonal. Boom, controlling the leg the entire time, and making sure, boom, to secure my position. And for those of you who like to gift wrap, right? There's a nice little gift wrap that's gonna be waiting for you pretty much every time. Lots of fun. All right, guys. Now, uh, a lot of people call this sweep a lot of different things, right? Flower sweep, pendulum, all this kind of cool stuff. All right, but at the end of the day, what's really important is nobody calls it a bad sweep, right? This extremely high probability technique, very few moving parts. Let me know how it goes and works out with you. Make sure that you subscribe below. That's right. Thank you so much, guys, for checking us out and sharing in the wealth of jiu-jitsu. We appreciate you very much. Os.